Remember when we were told AI was unstoppable? That it would outthink, outlearn, and outmaneuver us all? Companies poured billions into bigger, smarter, more powerful models fueled by a simple narrative. The more data, the more parameters, the more GPUs, the smarter AI gets. It felt like an inevitable ascent towards superintelligence. But now, we've hit a wall, a fundamental mathematical and computational limit that even the giants like OpenAI, Google, and Microsoft can't seem to overcome. This isn't just a bump in the road. It's the biggest red flag in AI's trajectory, hinting that everything we were promised about godlike superintelligent machines might have been a miscalculation, because at its core, AI isn't intelligent in the way we think it is. It's a probability machine. It doesn't think. It predicts. It doesn't reason. It associates patterns. It doesn't create. It remixes. Large language models don't actually understand meaning. They're just predicting the next word based on their training data. That's why a model can pass law exams, but still struggle with basic math. It's regurgitating patterns, not truly calculating. So the natural solution seemed to be just scale it up. More GPUs, more data, more parameters. Except that's where we hit the mathematical dead end. There's a hard cap on how smart AI can get. Even if we add more GPUs, increase model size, or feed it more data, we get diminishing returns. GPT-4 was 10 times bigger than GPT-3, but the improvements were marginal. Now, companies are scrambling because, for the first time, simply throwing more money at the problem won't fix it. The real problem, we're running out of training data. AI has already scraped nearly every book, article, and image. We're at a point where AI would need more data than actually exists to keep improving. Recycling AI-generated content just creates a feedback loop of garbage, and synthetic data makes AI even more detached from reality. So what happens now? The race isn't to build bigger AI models anymore. It's to build better ones. The smartest researchers are now focused on rewriting how AI reasons, figuring out how it can problem-solve instead of just predicting and experimenting with hybrid models that combine AI with traditional computation. The AI boom isn't over, it's just changing directions. Instead of artificial general intelligence, we might see highly optimized, specialized AI tools. Less of a brain, more of a powerful assistant. AI isn't taking over the world, it's hitting its limits. The tech bros promising godlike intelligence were betting on infinite scalability, but the math says otherwise. The biggest opportunities will be in efficiency breakthroughs, not brute force AI scaling. The AI gold rush was built on an illusion, and the people who see reality first will always come out on top.